Today, we'll mostly focus on Park Min Young's recent revealed relationship and the very shady past of her boyfriend that's been making headlines everywhere. Park Min Young got into quite a hot mess, but it's not due to something she did, but rather the person she was in a relationship with. On September 28th, Dispatch came out with a report that Park Min Young is in a relationship with the chairman of Bitthum, Kang Jong Hyun. Bitthum is currently one of the largest cryptocurrency exchange platforms in South Korea, but Kang also owns corporations like Kozdak and Kospi, Vendente, and Biogen and Bucket Studio. Dispatch revealed that their reporters caught Min Young going to work from Jong Hyun's luxurious villa in Han Nam the Hill quite often. Not only that, but on August 3rd, when Park Min Young was enjoying a day off from filming her drama Love and Contract, she was seen entering Jong Hyun's car right after her ballet class ended. On this day, Min Young was covered in Dior from head to toe, while Jong Hyun was also sporting designer clothes. The relationship turned out to be quite serious too, even though Dispatch didn't disclose how long the two had been dating. That day, the two went to meet Jong Hyun's parents, and his mother and Min Young even shared a hug. Dispatch also reported that Jong Hyun's involvement in Chorok Bay Media had a hand in Min Young's decision to sign with her agency, Hook Entertainment, as Hook Entertainment is a subsidiary of Chorok Bay Media. Just a normal relationship, right? What's so fishy about it? Well, a lot, actually. This report wasn't like Dispatch's usual ones, because this time, they actually seemed more interested in investigating Jong Hyun's past than they were about the relationship itself. Based on Dispatch's findings, Kang Jong Hyun is an extremely rich man due to his position as the chairman of Bitthumb, which I previously mentioned is currently one of the largest cryptocurrency exchange platforms in South Korea. He lives in a luxurious villa in Hanam the Hill, where Min Young often visits and stays with him. He's also the owner of an impressive collection of expensive cars like Mercedes Maybach SUV, Mercedes Sprinter, Lamborghini, Bentley, and Rolls Royce, which he often takes to visit luxurious golf courses. Seeing that he has so much money, it's no surprise that he likes to live lavishly, as there's been reports that he spends thousands of dollars on alcohol in one single night and wears a Richard Mill watch, which has the value of nearly $210,000. Dispatch also revealed that he bought his girlfriend a Lamborghini Urus as a gift, which, well, must have cost a lot of money. Here's where things start getting suspicious, though. Kang Jong Hyun is known as the hidden chairman of his multiple companies because he is the largest shareholder and his sister, Kang Ji Hyun, is the public chairman. Dispatch suspects that since there's nothing registered under his name, Kang Jong Hyun is probably creating accounts using borrowed names. This this includes the lack of a company, house, or even a golf membership. Literally nothing. This raised questions as to how he became as wealthy as he is and how he raised funds for his companies in the first place. It's even more suspicious that everyone was hesitant to mention his name and only mentioned that of his sisters. A company official from Vendente and in Biogen even said, Chairman Kang Jong Hyun? Who's that? There's only CEO Kang Ji Hyun here. Pretty fishy. There's more to this. Dispatch also found out that Jong Hyun was charged for fraud and forgery of private documents back in 2013 to 2014. Because he defrauded a capital group of a whopping $2.4 million, he ended up getting a sentence of three years of probation and 80 hours of community service. In 2016, he allegedly vanished into thin air after he defrauded two companies of around $10.5 million. He appeared once again in 2020 as an extremely wealthy man, catching Dispatch's attention. The investigation was praised by netizens, who called for Dispatch to stop focusing on exposing idols' private lives and instead start exposing actual criminals. A netizen wrote, Oh, Dispatch is amazing. They should stick to writing stuff like that instead of dating rumors. Go catch all the criminals. Another wondered why the two were dating in the first place. They commented, Park Min Young probably makes a lot of money too, so why? This criminal is just an old middle-aged man. The plot gets thicker though. Right after Dispatch's report came out, Min Young started receiving backlash, so her agency had to respond. SBS also came out on September 29th and said that Min Young's older sister holds the position of an outside director of Imbiogen, one of the companies that Jong Hyun is the chairman of. Hook Entertainment, Min Young's agency, first released a statement to the public but didn't address the rumors, only denying that the company was affiliated with businessman Kim jae -uk. Once the situation got worse, they had to come out with an actual statement regarding the relationship. They first apologized for the late response that broke the news that the couple had just recently broken up. They also said that Min Young's sister had also submitted her resignation from her current position at Imbiogen. They went on, For actress Park Min Young, it is currently her top priority to successfully complete filming for her ongoing drama a love and contract, so she will do her best to not cause harm to the broadcast. The company ended the statement by assuring the public that Min Young is going to be more cautious about her and her family's actions in order to show how responsible she is as an actress and a public figure. While this is a standard statement, netizens aren't quite sure if it's true in the first place. Some netizens think that the agency only lied so Min Young could stop receiving heat from the public for dating Jong Hyun, since, according to them, there's just no way that the relationship could end that easily if the couple were serious about each other. Other netizens don't share
share the same belief as they claim that Min Young cut ties with her ex just to make the rumors die down. There are people who believe that Min Young probably didn't know about her boyfriend's past and was quite shocked by the revelation, having no other choice but to break up with him. But you'll be surprised to find out that Min Young isn't the only celebrity involved in this mess. When the controversy about Kang Jae Hyun came out, people pointed out that the artist under the entertainment agency, Artist Company, owned by actors Lee Jong Jae and Jong Woo Song, also invested large sums of money into BitThumb, which is owned by Jong Hyun. This made some believe that both Lee Jong Jae and Jong Woo Song are associated with Jong Hyun, which they thoroughly denied. They released a statement on September 29th explaining the situation. Artist Company said that Kim Jae Hook, the former president of Artist Company, suggested that many artists under his agency invest in the company Vendente Co. in 2017 due to the fact that they were led to believe it was a company for supplying filming equipment and didn't know it was a company dedicated to blockchain technology. The agency also said that all investment funds that were provided by Artist Company and its artists were withdrawn in 2018. Artist Company concluded that they had just found out about Kang Jong Hyun's affiliation with Vendente Co. and denied any instance of contact between the company or Kang Jong Hyun. Another son wondered why Artist Company was involved in the controversy in the first place, saying, what's the correlation between being acquainted with someone and investing in a business? Another gave the company the benefit of the doubt and commented, isn't it possible that they didn't know? Why are the comments being snarky? For real, they probably trusted their CEO's words and thought it was just a monitoring equipment company, no? While the other commenters wondered how artists could invest nearly 3 billion Korean won without researching what they were investing into. In other news, Son Yejin's recent purchase might have given us a big hint about the gender of her baby. According to a blogger, they had run into Hyunbin and Son Yejin lately while they were buying paintings from the famous Korean artist Hang Sang Yoon. The paintings that the couple bought features a family of pigs, the mom, the dad, and a son painted in bright and warm colors. The family were standing next to a white dog, which looks a lot like Son Yejin's puppy. This has led netizens to believe that the painting may be a reflection of the actor's family and came to the conclusion that they're expecting a son. The original blogger did say they didn't know if the two bought this specific painting, but netizens are sure since they believe that the painting resembles Hyunbin and Yejin. Based on the recent purchases the two have made for decorations for the baby's room, most of which have been paintings of pigs, which are said to bring good luck, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to think that exact painting was purchased by the couple. Others don't think the same, saying that the rumors are baseless and that the couple probably just purchased the painting because they liked it. They also say that it's better to wait for a statement from the two rather than coming up with theories. On the other hand, both Yejin and Hyunbin have yet to speak up about the speculations. Speaking of the two, Hyunbin just recently celebrated his 40th birthday. As usual, his fan club sent him cakes, bouquets, and expensive gifts, but his wife didn't stay still either. Despite the pregnancy, it's reported that Yejin threw her husband a big party with their family, friends, and acquaintances present. After that, the two had a romantic candlelit dinner together at a restaurant, spending time only with each other. They reportedly ended the night by watching the fireworks, which was also arranged by Yejin. Could they be any cuter? The birthday gift that Yejin gave to him hasn't been revealed by the couple, but since they spent Hyunbin's birthday together knowing that they're about to become parents pretty soon, that must have made the day a lot more special. Share your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye!